What's good my people? Today we'll be playing around with systemd overrides, but before we do that, let's take a look at the RHCSA exam objective so you can see why I think this is important. Keep in mind that this is just my interpretation of the objectives, but it is a pretty solid interpretation. So scrolling down to the bottom, you'll see this blurb about persistence. Basically, your exam work needs to persist across a reboot, otherwise they can't grade it. So with that being said, I want to come up to here where it talks about adjust process scheduling. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. So if you've been studying for a while, you're likely familiar with the renice and chrt commands. I'll just demo renice real quick. So first we'll get a process ID. And then we'll change the priority. And there we go. Now bash is running at a higher priority than it was before. So that's the basics of adjusting scheduling. But let's think practical now. This is totally not going to persist. So what would we want such a change to persist on? Well, a service, of course. So that's the point of this video. To get started, let's take a look at the man pages for systemd. We're looking for the one about unit files. So we'll just say man systemd.unit. And checking out this system unit path search section, as many of you are already aware, systemd generally searches for unit files in the run and etc directories first, and then user lib last. So when we want to change settings about a packaged unit, we can just copy the file from user lib to etc and be on our way. And yes, that is totally one way to do it. However, in the theme of long-term persistence, the packaged units could diverge over time from the ones that you just copy into etc. And this could result in undesirable behavior, like missing features after an update. There's actually an easy way to make small changes to the units without neglecting the packaged ones, and that's with an override.conf file. So let's find something to populate it with. In the same man page, we can look for how to set the niceness value. So conveniently here, it gives us an example of an HTTPD service using the nice key equal to 5 to adjust its priority. So let's actually try this on a real HTTPD. So we'll log into one of our app servers. Get a root shell. And install HTTPD. So that looks good. Now we'll just start the service. Okay, so first let's go ahead and check the niceness value currently. So you can do that with ps-eo command comma nice, and then we'll grep for httpd. And as expected, the default niceness value of zero was being set. So we're going to try to change this. So we'll go and type in systemctl edit httpd.service and we'll get this giant commented out file here. So basically what it's telling us is that right below is a reference for our service and then the lines between these two comments are our actual override. So looking down here we're supposed to add the niceness value to the service group or section. So we'll do that up here. service and then nice equals we'll make it two. Then we can just write and quit the file and then type in system CTO daemon dash reload and then system CTO restart HTTPD. And now let's go ahead and check that niceness value again. And as you can see, it's been set to 2. Well, as I hope you'll agree, this was pretty easy. So I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.